Brook Universal Fighting Board, specifically when using its PlayStation 4 mode, has been commonly considered the fastest USB-based controller PCB, at least in the fighting game community. I did hear ramblings of the Damon Byte arcade encoder being fast prior to making this, but haven't really invested too much until Commenter 6 Live made a suggestion to take a look at it. Thank you. The little piece of technology seems to be capable of being a worthy opponent to the Universal Fighting Board, but at what cost? I'm the Phantom Nut, and I'm analyzing the lag of the Damon Byte arcade encoder. For a bit of background, Finnish developer Mick Guyver created the Damon Byte project primarily for use with the Mr. FPGA. Instead of using a custom PCB, the software they created can be implemented on the very small and very affordable Arduino Pro Micro through the Arduino's integrated development environment software. Compared to things such as the Brook Fighting Boards, my iPhone 12, and even a banana, the Pro Micro is pretty small. The only thing smaller height-wise would have to be a normal SD card. The encoder can also serve as an analog to USB encoder on the MISTER with controllers for the Neo Geo MBS slash AES, the Commodore 64, Commodore Amiga, and the Atari Jaguar. The other big deal is that the Damon Byte was made with low latency in mind. When plugged in, PCB is automatically set at a pulling rate of 1 millisecond or 1000 Hz. MidGyver did post their own test results showing that it averages out at 0.74 milliseconds, with the highest input recorded at 1.28 milliseconds and the lowest at 0.23 milliseconds. The results are pretty surprising, but I initially felt the results were dubious. After spending only $20 on the board as well as terminal blocks to solder onto, I wanted to see for myself if my test supports MidGyver's results or are different. I also wanted to see if it's just as or even better than the venerable PS4 mode on the Brook Universal Fighting Board. Before we get to the results, let's break down how the test was conducted. I used an Arduino Mega 2560 board with a USB host shield. Similar to the Damon by project itself, I installed the USB lag created by Wide to my Arduino unit. I connected the Pro Micro to the host shield's USB port with one input to pin 7 of the host shield. USB lag allows the Arduino to perform 1000 rapid inputs during the testing process. I then copied the results in a spreadsheet, also created by Wide, to calculate the final results. For more information about the process as well as results done by other users, check out inputlag.science or click the link in the description below. Now let's get to it. The Damon Byte is outputting an average of 0.7 milliseconds with the highest input recorded at 1.2 milliseconds and the lowest at 0.4 milliseconds. It's also 96% likely that an input from the encoder will output within the frame of it being triggered. Do you note that my test was done in 1000 inputs while MacGyver's was done in 13,962? Aside from that as well as the slightly higher minimum recorded input, and the results not displaying hundreds, I can say that my results seem very close to what the designer had. But how does it fare against the Universal Fighting Board? Well, the USB PS4 mode outputs an average of 1 millisecond with the highest input set at 3.8 milliseconds and the lowest at 0.6 milliseconds. Inputs are likely to trigger on frame 95% of the time. Just looking at the results by itself, the Damon Byte Arcade Encoder has beaten the Brook Universal Fighting Board for being the fastest board out there, at least with the method done. Here is a comparison with the top controllers Arcade 6 and PCBs as tested for input like that science and myself. So with that, we should replace our universal fighting boards with the Damon Byte encoder, right? Well, no. I did a quick wire up of the encoder on one of my sticks and tried to make it work on PC. After following the layout on the GitHub page, Windows seemed to identify every input correctly. When booting up a game like Tekken 7, the buttons were incorrect and the directional inputs couldn't be identified at all. I tried using X360CE as a controller wrapper, but it couldn't override the Damon Byte properly while Steam Input doesn't want to play nice with it. As a curiosity, I plugged the encoder into a Brook PS3 to PS4 Super Converter on the PS4, and despite the home button being wired to the proper terminal block, the converter couldn't identify it. I do have a Mr. setup, but haven't booted nor updated it in quite a while. I will not doubt its compatibility on the Mr. however, since the project was designed for that in mind. If you're one of those folks with a mister, then enjoy the very low latency when playing a variety of cores on the FPGA. For everyone else like me who are playing fighting games at tournament events, the Universal Fighting Board is still the best we have. It has the lower latency for the primary competitive platform, the PS4, and has solid compatibility on other modern systems. Speaking of UFB compatibility, consider subscribing to the channel as the UP5 add-on for compatibility on native PlayStation 5 games 
is coming soon. The Damon Byte Arcade Encoder is the new king of low latency PCBs, but unless you're going to use it for the Mr. FPGA, it might not be ideal in other use cases. I'm glad, however, that people like McGyver and companies like Brook are making sure that their boards are aiming at low latency for a better experience. Other peripheral designers should be looking to minimize latency as much as possible in future products. If you're interested in making your own Damon Byte Arcade Encoder, check out the links below for more info. Until next time, thank you for watching.